Millions of Americans vape, including 2.5 million teenagers, all of them at risk from the harmful effects of nicotine and Evoli, e-cigarette and vaping product use associated lung injury. And it is a severe pulmonary illness that is associated with vaping. Um, in particular, there was an outbreak in the United States in 2019 that involved several thousand individuals. It can be quite serious and there were actually many, over 50 young people who died in the 2019 to 2020 outbreak that occurred in the United States. The vaping product to blame had been altered with THC and vitamin E. Now, doctors and public health experts, led by Dr. Rose, are working to prevent future Evali outbreaks. What Evali showed us is that these agents can be dangerous, they're not safe, and that we really needed to understand them more as they were becoming widely used. There is a continued risk for recurrences of Evali with different chemicals. The work group developed a number of recommendations, including a bioregistry to store clinical samples and document the vaping products involved. We really thought that there should be a, a call to action from federal agencies to make a greater investment in studying vaping products and also acute lung injuries associated with vaping products through the spectrum of patient populations. There were many adolescents who had Evali and got very ill on mechanical ventilators or even could have died. And then there's also people who are older that use vaping products or e-cigarettes that have underlying chronic illnesses like respiratory disease or cardiovascular disease. And we just don't know right now the true risk profile of these products. Dr. Rose is also working to have vaping use included in a patient's electronic medical records. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.